Okay, in this video, we're going to be looking at how we solve equations uh, using backtracking. Now, in previous videos, we looked at how we can solve equations using inspection and also guess, check, and improve, but sometimes it won't work. Uh, for example, if we have a value where the uh, premium was actually a decimal number, so it might be 1.5, it obviously takes a long time for us to try and guess that number. So in this, in this video, we're actually looking at a bit more detailed way of how we can actually answer or find a result for more complex questions. Now, before we get into that, it's important that you understand these things, that you're aware of these things. So if you uh, need to check back on these, make sure you pause the video now, look back at these uh, definitions so you know what we're doing as we move on. So that is the order of operations, and also you need to know the inverse operations. So uh, the opposite to addition is minus, the opposite, the opposite to multiplication is division. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get into showing you how we do backtracking now. We have an example uh, question here, and I'm going to show you how we set this up. So what we want to do with backtracking is we want to create or develop this operation or this equation and build it up step by step. So what we're doing is showing, creating a flowchart that will show us each step by step of how we're going to actually create this equation. So what you do is you simply create, start with a box, and what you're going to put in that first box is the pronumeral. You always start with the pronumeral, okay? And then you're going to follow the order of operations. You're going to create and develop this as we go through. So what we'll do here is I know from the order of operations that I'm going to be multiplying the pronumeral by two first. So what I do, I create an arrow, I'm going to times it by two, and then in the next box, we create how, the, how we've now further developed our equation. So now that I've times 2x, I have 2x, okay, and I can move on to the next step. Once we've done that, we've created 2x, we then add 5. So again, I'm going to create another arrow, I'm creating this flowchart, I'm going to add 5, which now gives me my LHS, okay, I've now created the LHS of this equation, which is going to be 2x plus 5. Okay, so what we've done is created a flowchart, we've developed it step by step, so we now have the LHS of our equation, and this is the first part, it's creating a flowchart. But if we want to be able to answer X, we then need to do backtracking. So with backtracking, we effectively do the opposite, and we're going to create a whole new section underneath this. Okay, so if I double these boxes here, I'm now going to create a flowchart in the opposite direction, and if I, if I follow it, I should be able to get an answer here for x. So once you've created the opposite now for the backtracking table, what you if you've got the LHS here, what you want here in the bottom right is your RHS, which in this case is 11. Now, this is where backtracking comes in and using your inverse operations. So here I've multiplied by 2 and I've added 5. What you want to do now with backtracking is do the opposite for each of these equations. So instead of adding 5, what if I minus 5, okay? And then what I do here, instead of multiplying by 2, I'm going to divide by 2. So all we need to do now with backtracking is follow this step, and hopefully we should be able to get an answer here for what x is. So 11 minus 5, we know, equals 6. And then if I divide 6 by 2, I should get my answer of 3. So what you do with backtracking, you create the flow chart at the top, you multiply by 2, you add 5, etc. You create each step by step. You then have your RHS, or your answer on the bottom right, and then you go backwards to get your answer for X. Now, this will work with any equation. This is a simple one, so hopefully you can uh, practice a bit more, more complex problems. But the way you do this is then you follow back, and you should also get your answer for X here. Now, the last thing you need to do, just to make sure that works, is that you want to substitute. So let's see if this is actually the answer. So if I, instead of X, I have 3. So now I have 2 times 3 plus 5 equals 11. Hopefully this is a true equation. So 2 times 3 equals 6 plus 5 equals 11, which we know is a true equation. So our uh, backtracking has worked. So what you're going to do now is going to go through and practice a few more of these and uh, make sure you understand the way that the flowchart is structured. It might not be three boxes. It might keep going depending on how many steps you have in that equation, but you should be able to master that as we go through the unit. Thanks, boys.